providing the best support for AIDS orphans, one family at a time. In Kibera, life is no child's play. After the devastation of the global AIDS pandemic, 20,000 AIDS orphans were abandoned on the streets of Kibera, Kenya. AIDS orphans in Kibera face quite a number of challenges. One, lack of education. Two, the child labor. You know, they have to work for them to get something to eat because they have nobody to care for them. Three, for a few children whose parents died and uh, maybe had a little property, like could be sewing machine or uh, they l lose their inheritance. We are not a community that writes wills. We think wills are written by people who are very rich. Exploitation of children uh, working as a people who ferry water because water is a big problem, there's a big problem in Islam. The, the water will be about a kilometer away from, uh, from point A to point B. To get uh, about 100 gallons, we will take about half a day and they will be paid so little, maybe half a dollar for that work. The girls will be made uh, to work as maids, to work as nannies. They will be lured into prostitution. The children who are born in the slums and were never taken to their rural homes, so they lose their identity because nobody knows where they come from. They engage in crime. Girls, early, early, early marriages, thinking they're solving the problem. They lack health care. They lack protection. They're abused. What happens to the children when they are orphaned? Who takes care of them, feeds them, makes sure they get to school? The Kenyan government funds state-run orphanages, but these are not always in the local community. Children are taken to orphanages by neighbors, where by maybe friends of the family, by the police, if they're found on the street, the police will just run them up and take them to orphanages because they don't have any other place to take them. As a social worker, orphanages should be the last resort for children to go. I worked in one and I didn't like it, and that's why I thought of a community model. Because children are just bundled there. They only ring a bell for them to come and have meals, food, then they're told to go and sleep, and that's all. Children need to be interacted with, to be loved, to be taught values. Kijiji Cha Apendo champions a family-based approach and keeping the children in the community. Rather than moving to government orphanages, the children live locally with families that they know. That is important because love, because of love. These people must have demonstrated that they love these children. And uh, love is a key, key, key thing here for children to grow up in a manner that they can end up being responsible citizens. The difference here is that in a family, children have an opportunity to interact with other people in the community. They develop their inter- and intrapersonal skills. Children have guidance. Children learn about their norms and values of their community. But in the orphanages, none of that is done. Kijiji is better than, because one, you spend very little resources on managing the project. A lot of it goes directly to the families. But when you're working in an orphanage, you, you, you have so much to care for, a lot of bills to pay in terms of administration, paying allowances and salaries. Benefits are acquired in an orphanage by abandoned for abandoned children would be like uh, they would have clothing, they would have a place to sleep, uh, they would be taken to school, because more often than not, the, the, the orphanages will have money for schools. There's negative sides of they do not have a figurehead, like a father in a family. They lack love. Kijiji's mission is to complement families so as to raise uh, productive and uh, responsible citizens. They know how to settle their differences at an early age. They know how to relate to authority. They know that uh, they have to report to a parent when they come from school. They know what, what being sent is. They know how to be reprimanded means. 
and the very money in a loving manner. You know, the children have an identity. That's the difference. That you don't find in a children's home. Kijiji volunteers visit homes to ensure that the families are coping and that the children are well cared for. And importantly, they ensure that the kids are receiving an education. We conduct home visits to just see whether things are working well, whether the children are fitting in that co in the, within those households. Also visit children in schools to provide support at school. And for the children who are HIV positive within the project, we also refer for medical care. We, when we started, we were just focusing on the families, but now we are moving out a bit. We are looking at the environmental issues. We are looking at, you know, children have, having safe spaces like study center, a small library. Life in Kibera is challenging, and taking in extra children can add additional pressure. Kijiji Cha Appendo assists the caregivers, offering emotional support and, crucially, economic empowerment. The difficulties of uh, families taking care of children, one, it starts even with the emotional support. You know, acceptance of these orphans by the siblings in the family. That is one thing. Two, um, the emotional support of the orphans who come into the new family. They don't know what to do, what is right, what is wrong, so they need to be integrated into the community, into the family. And three, resources. If somebody doesn't have resources, then they're not able to provide what the children need. And that is why Kijiji Chaupendo then looks at economic empowerment so that families are able to provide for the basic needs of all the children in the family. Uh, apart from the numbers being big, uh, we have families that are catering for kids up to about uh, 14 kids. But because they are family, the kids uh, will be washed, bathed in a loving manner. They'll be sleep in a place where, they are, even if they're going to sleep on the floor, but uh, sleep knowing that there's a mother We'll take care of them in the morning. Individuals would, be, would best learn from a model if we are to come up with a nation that uh, people that can uh, relate easily with other fellow citizens, has people that are responsible, people that care for other people. Kijiji Cha Appendo is an innovative grassroots model for caring for vulnerable children. It champions and empowers families who are willing to take in and care for orphans keeping the children in a family home within the community.